welcome and uh, let's we'll start our sessions today before starting our session uh let's a bit recap what we learned during our previous sessions so before moving forward ahead so let's you know we'll discuss first what we learned during our previous lesson yes daniel anything you remember which we learned uh, before yes before No problem. I'll go through the calculation. But, but what else we discussed during our lessons? Variability. Yeah. Leisure. Leisure. So about something. So. We discussed about ratios. How many types those were? How many uh, how many types of ratios we have learned? Four. Yes, four. What? Uh, hello, welcome, Roman. Hi. Uh, so, how many types of ratios we have learned? Four four types of ratios. What those are? You don't remember? Okay, no problem. We discuss about profitability ratios. Ah, oh, uh, yes, yes. Under the profitability, we discuss about uh, gross profit margin ratios, net profit margin. Yes, we discuss about earning per share ratios. All these ratios under the profitability ratios we can calculate. I already sent you the template as well to use uh, for the calculation of these ratios. Okay, so next ratios we discuss about the liquidity ratios, most liquid asset, where we already calculated two types of ratios, current ratios and quick ratios, are we also called asset test ratios, those are the most liquid assets. Okay. The Third type of ratios we have discussed is called use of resources or efficiency ratios, where we discuss and we have calculated as well receivable in days, how many you know we can receive money from our credit customer. Yes, inventory turnover days, how many days we are converting inventory, raw material inventory into the finished goods. And the last ratio we discuss about gearing ratio and we already mentioned if you drive your car in a high gear, it means high risk. So if our ratios will come high, uh, is more than 60-80%, then of course, you know, it means our business is more in risk. So we need to interpret these ratios when we write our assignment as well. I'll go through assignment brief today as well with you, okay? Daniel, we discuss about financial management and financial accounting. What is the difference between them? Uh, financial uh, yes, financial accounting is we discuss external yeah. and financial management internal okay <clears throat> we also discuss about um, uh, types of ownerships sole trader partnership and limited companies and we discuss different user of financial statements. And we prepare trial balance. I send you already handouts, which is on Moodle technically. Yes, 
lesson recording on Moodle as well. So please, you can follow. We'll go through all these, you know, and we'll try to calculate. Okay, next we discuss about some adjustment during our previous lessons as well. And we have uh, calculated and uh, prepared our financial statements, uh, profit and loss and balance sheet. Yes. <clears throat> so today we are moving forward and our learning outcome four, which is LO4, we're supposed to summarize the main features of UK regulatory framework, evaluate the impact of international regulations on UK organizations. So our discussion will be focused today. We'll look around what are the UK regulatory frameworks and why organization need to be followed and which is one of your tasks in task one, your assignment, where is a mention IASB is called International Accounting Standard Board. Okay, today lesson <clears throat> will go through Okay, today lessons and discussion on the regulatory framework, IESC, introduction to UK accounting standard, and I wish you know I have the lesson will achieve our objective. Yes? Okay, what do we know about the regulatory framework? What is meant by regulatory? Well done. Foundation of something is called framework. Good. So regulatory mean rules and regulations. Okay. Some laws, some rules, you know, the, those will help us to run our system, our processes, our procedures properly. And we call them as a regulatory framework okay any question okay. yes yes no no yeah. okay so next we are discussing our discussion is first we are looking is called the structure of IFRS is called regulatory systems Okay, IFRS stands for International Financial Reporting Standards. Standard. So they make international standards, those will help other countries as well as the internationally to regulate the reporting standards. IFRS Foundation formerly known as International Accounting Standard Committee Foundation, IASC is a supervisory body for IASB. IASB is called International Accounting Standard Board. Okay, they make standard how we can reflect in our financial statement, how we can prepare our financial statement. We discussed during the previous lessons, we can prepare four types of financial statement. We discussed profit and loss. We discussed balance sheet. We discussed cash flow statement. And we discussed shareholder statement. So these are the four statements we prepare in accounts and those are called financial statement. Is it a ISB set the standard how we can prepare them? And is a responsible governance issues and ensuring each member body is 
properly funded. The principal IFRS is called International Financial Reporting Standard Foundation to develop high quality, understandable, enforceable, globally acceptable accounting reporting standards. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. To promote the use of rigorous application of those standards, to take in account of financial reporting need emerging economies like India, China, and some other countries' economy, we not call developing, we, they use the word is called emerging economies. And bring about the convergence of the national and international reporting standard. It means to work together and reflect, you know, the both national and international standard. Like your country, Korea, they have their own accounting standards. Every country have own their accounting standard. Then we have an international accounting standard. If our company has operation in many countries, so normally we follow international accounting standard because people can understand our layout about the information. Does it make sense? Yeah. Ask me if any question, please. So next we're looking, you have in your assignment task one, it's called IEASB. It's called International Accounting Standard Board. So you have to write under the task one as well. IASB is independent standard setting body of IFRS International Financial Reporting Standard Foundation. Its members are responsible for development and publication of IFRS. It's called International Financial Reporting Standard and interpretation developed by IRS. The creation of IESB also adopted all existing international accounting standards. All international accounting standard IESB is created and adopt. Any question here if you not get it? Yeah, okay. Okay, all of the most important national standard setter are represented on the IESB. All the most important national standard setter, which is mean the UK standard setter, are represent on the IESB and their views taken into account so that the consensus can be reached. So whenever new standards develop, UK Accounting Standard Board, South Korea's Accounting Standard Board, all they come together, sit together, discuss the thing, and then they make the national as well international accounting standards. Does it make sense? Yeah. All the national sector can issue the ISB discussion paper an exposure draft for c comments in their own country so the views of the preparer and the user of financial statement can be represented and mission major national standard setter lead certain international standard setting projects. Okay. Any question there, ISB? No. Okay. So we shall go through according to assignment brief with you as well. Okay, IFRS is called International Financial Reporting Standard Interpretations Committee. Under the IFRS, they have a committee. Committee they set up, IFRS, International 
committee review the wide spread of accounting issues like in accounting lot of company they not used to give the true information they misled they cheat people they issue not shares and the right price so all these a body is, is regulated ifrs rc is called international financial reporting international committee these meetings are open and public and similar to the isb they work closely to the national standard ifrsc is a advisory council they have a separate council as well AC is called the Advisory Council, formerly Advisory Board, body of ISB, is International and International Financial Reporting Foundation. It's comprised the wide range of members who are affected by IES work. The objective, advising International Accounting Standard Board agenda, prioritize arrange the meetings, work together, and set the standards. Okay, these are all internationally regulatory bodies. So in your assignment is more focused IASB, it's called International Accounting Standard Board, which is our slide, second slide, sorry, fifth slide, and that's more towards your assignment and then we looking the next slide six is development ifr how many development happen the procedure of the development ifrs international accounting standard isb identify a subject and appoint advisory committee isb publish exposure the draft then following consideration of ifrs and this stage, the paper, they publish actually the standard. At least 815 IP members. So if out of 15, eight members will give in the favor that new standard need to be set up, then they set up the standard. Yes, major countries agree to be need required new standard. Does it make sense? Yes. They do voting, like in you know, parliament voting, okay? Okay, now LO4 is all about the regulatory framework. And that's major focus is on international and UK regulatory framework. So regulatory framework, what is meant by preparation of financial statement is necessary for a number of reasons to ensure the needs of the user financial statement are met with at least basic minimum information to ensure that all information provided in the relevant economic arena both comparable and consistent comparable mean the last year information and this year confirmed comparable we can't produce one year statement 18 months other year six months it's not a comparable comparable mean every year after every 12 months we prepare our financial statement so we can compare last year performance and this year that's more comparable does it make sense Okay, given the growth in the multinational company and the global investment arena, increasing the in international world. So international accounting standards is increasing because due to the multinational companies. Increase user confidence in the financial reporting that we need a regulatory framework to regulate the behavior of the company and the director toward their investor. Yes, otherwise director can draw money, director can pay more bonus to themselves. So that's why the standard there. 
so financial reporting standard on their own would not be sufficient to achieve these ends in addition there are some legal and market based regulations so we call them national regulatory framework for financial reporting does it make sense there are many element regulatory framework in accounting typical regulatory structure in uk is called national F financial reporting standard in uk then uk have national laws then they have a market regulations then they have a stock exchange rules who can share sell the shares to the public Yes, how they can list it companies in the stock exchange. So these are all the regulatory. For example, in UK, own UK National Financial Reporting Authority, FRA is called Financial Reporting Authority. <clears throat> Accounting Standard Board is a part of Financial Reporting Council in the uk the main piece of legislation affect the businesses in uk is called the company act so which which legislation affect company act okay however there are also many other piece of uk and eu and us legislation that affect like in term of servants Osley Act, which is uh, called corporate governance. How many members need to be in a board? So that's all about the county. There are also numerous industries specific regulatory system that will affect the UK accounting. For example, Financial Service Authority FSA, whose aim to promote And finally, there are the regulations provided by the London Stock Exchange for the company. Those are quoted on this market. So when you write your assignment, LO4, this is all about what is the international accounting standard, why we need to regulate it, what sort of the UK accounting standards are, and we can discuss any question. Okay, what is the purpose of IAS? IAS is called International um, Accounting Standard, IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standard. Main purpose is to harmonize one standard for everywhere, every part of the world. That's why international standard. Due to the increasing global nature of the investment in the business, Toward their internationalized, so so we can consider more harmonized. If the companies are different method of accounting than before, any decision made about the different entity accounting would be have rewritten. So if UK companies adopt international accounting standards, they have to restructure their previous year financial statement so that the people can compare the information what they have is it okay okay any question daniel okay next we looking legal structure ifrs are not enforceable in any country they are developed international organization no intention international authority to become enforceable they are adopted by the country national financial reporting center so ifrs makes standard so the local accounting board in each country they will make sure they will adopt them yes 
European Union IFRS are adopted by the listed entities in and other countries adopted by IFRS including these are all the countries where updating their national standard over the time so consistency with the IFRS international financial reporting standards any question okay this slide will give you a bit clue what is meant by accounting standard is a set of rules which prescribe the method of the financial statement should be produced and so in the UK we call the accounting standard is a statement of standard accounting practices we call SEPs and in the UK financial reporting standard we call FS FRS but internationally worldwide we call them IES is called international accounting standard IFRS is called international financial reporting standard does it make sense So in your assignment even you can this copy or this bit okay from here and you can explain yes okay IAS 16 is called property plant equipment how we can depreciate our asset ISA 2 is called inventories inventory means stock how we can value our inventories in the book of accounts we don't need to go in detail but we need to know the basics uk and worldwide standard are broadly similar but some differences in the terminology so those we need to understand okay the accounting concept because you have in your accounting concept are the exemption underlying the financial statement the most important accounting concept going concern it means the business will carry on operate for feasible future as a current activity accrual we record all the expenses not basis of the cash but basis of the incurred like we get the services we use gas electricity but we not paid the bill but still we need to record in the book of account as expense when we'll make the payment we can reduce our cash but we need to record income and expense the matching concept all these are the characteristic it's called the qualities of the financial statement should be contained with it prudence is mean all the information need to be correct consistency every year after every 12 months we need to prepare the statement this need to be relevant we can compare we can verify the things is lying the company faithful true and fair understand information need to be understand the figures like you know not one figure in, uh, in Japanese one in Chinese one in uh, different languages you need to prepare the every year's information understandable language with the people can understand okay any question yeah. Yeah. no question yes question no okay Daniel so up to now what we covered I'll going to we discuss about summarize the main feature of UK legislation you know those legislation like a company act like the UK standard those you can summarize to address this learning outcome next evaluate of course UK organization need to be follow the international when the international chain the local standard also a big chain to reflect it and the organization need to follow those standards yes so is a work their previous year financial statement maybe we need to reinstate to be more compare and contrast so these are the things which supposed to be 4.1, 4.2 to discuss.
Okay, all being explained here. IFRS, FRS, yes. So these are the things we need to discuss. Like I already put it in the slide. You can rewrite it in your own words. And if you want there, I can copy this link and you can reference as well all there, okay? So any question? Next, I'm going through with you. Okay, let's we'll discuss about assignment brief, yes? That's the main thing really we need to. Okay, Daniel, we covered this. We'll do one more lesson because I think, you know, you maybe need one more lesson where we can I'll discuss some things today and maybe I'll arrange one lesson more that will help you, okay? So let's we'll prepare our assignment now. Now we have a basic knowledge. This is your contents of the assignment brief, we can say. Scenario, you uh, have applied the job accounting department, store above, and uh, you need to attain the aims and purpose of the financial and management accounting. Yes? Can you write it? Um, yeah, yes. But, uh, sir, uh, I problem. You have problem. Is a good you okay you can do it, yes? Yeah, yes. Test one is okay. Right. Test two is okay, no problem. I'll go through task two, okay? So today I discuss about IESB as well. Yeah. I discuss about advisory standard AC, yes, advisory committee, advisory council. Yes. You know the link I put it there if you want more, so you can click there, yes. You can find yes. Like we discuss about prime entries and those sort of things, you can as well. Yes? Yes. We'll see their sale day book, purchase day book, all these cash payment. Yes, that's all is your that's book of prime entries, okay? Okay, that's, so task one, you don't have any issues, yes? Okay, task two, we have some issues, we need to address it. So in task two, we need to look around after the successful being called for interview, you've been asked to solve the problems, okay? So we need to look around what we're supposed to do. Wholesale, selling toys online, operate his office in his parents' apartment, operate zero inventory. At the start, there is a no stock. Inventory means stock. Okay, every toy he sells first purchase and resold. So there is a no manufacturing, just buying and selling it. But only after the orders come through, you need to help him out. These are the bookkeeping, following transactions, okay? So whenever we'll do bookkeeping, we'll learn during our lessons. So what I'm going to do, I'll copy this. And these are all transactions, okay? So let's we'll go through. So these are all transactions.
see during our one of lesson we discuss about that click so first we can write the rule double entry bookkeeping that click okay c l i c click okay so what d stand for so in one of lesson we discuss about and in other unit as well with the level 4 unit D stand for debit. Yes. Sorry, I'll copy for you. Just you know, and that will help because it's double entry bookkeeping. First, we need to. That's all based on it. Okay. Sorry, so second lesson. Yes, you will see there. We discuss this in the second lesson. That click yes. so i'm copying this slide here that will help us okay okay d stand for debit e stand for expense t a stand for asset d stand for drawing what is meant by drawing first drawing um right yes brilliant drawing means something draw for personal use for a, from the business yes some money you have drawn for personal use that's called drawing okay next c stand for credit l stand for liabilities i stand for income and c stand for capital we call debt click what's debit and what's credit so now we'll go back to us our assignment and we need to do we need to do go through these entries okay what i'll do and you can try as well this whole question i need to solve you okay what do you think i need to solve you this whole question for you and we can discuss in more details okay i'll discuss today and i'll solve for you okay let's all copy this way so that will help in your assignment you can copy like this first and then we need to solve these questions okay first we'll do entries okay can we read first one what is the first paid 500 for lease of computer equipment in advance so we paid 
to purchase computers some advance payment yes so what will be debit what will be credit computer equipment is the asset yes so computer equipment will be debit by 500 plus we need to do and then credit will be because every entry have a two things yes entry one will be debit one will be credit so i can write here dr is mean debit yes And CR is a credit. What I'm paying? I'm paying money, yes. We also call bank or cash, yes. Either I'm paying from my bank account or I'm paying from my cash. The same thing, okay? So money is going out of the business, computer is coming. Yeah. Any question here? What does it mean? DR? Sorry. DR, DR mean debit. Uh, okay. CR mean cre credit. CR mean credit. Like here we write debit. So abbreviation we use DR. Yes. And for credit we use CR. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, next. Sale. Okay, that was our. We can write entry A, okay? That's A, okay? Does it make sense? Yes, yes. Okay, then, first we need to regard like this. Okay, second is what we are doing. Cash sales. Cash sales. Oh, 4,847. Okay, what is meant by sales? Is it income or expense? Income. Income. Okay, so we learn click. I stand for income. Income goes which side? I. Credit side. Yes. C R S. Click. Click means that's a credit things. Okay. And D that means these supposed to be debit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now sales is the income. Income goes on the credit side. Okay. When you selling something, what you are getting? money so we are getting cash yes yeah, yeah. cash is our asset for a business so we are getting cash cash is a debit four eight four seven so what will be what will be credit four eight four seven so sales will be credit because sales is the income, yes? It's the same amount. Does it make sense? Yeah. So this way we need to do every transaction, okay? So let's will do next C. What is the C there? C transaction. Speed. Okay, it's a good to be because we are selling different product. So first was stuff. Animal, yes. Yes. It's better to be right in a bracket like this, sir. Huh? Okay, next we have a. Cash sales again. Yes. So again, is a cash debit will be four thousand four hundred eighty six. 
Yes, 4486 will be debit. What is this? Oh, sorry. Okay, what will be credit then? Sorry, I'm doing, this is I'm doing C, okay? Are you getting, yes? Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. CR, cash, yes? Or we can call bank is the same thing, no problem. What we are doing, this is for education. So, yes? So, 4486. Any question? Yeah. So next we'll do D. Can we read D? Uh, yeah. Okay. Also, so again we'll do debit or cash. Four, four, eight, six. four seven. Zero two. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing D now. Huh? That's why. And we're doing D. Credit. Also cash. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Why I write wrong there? Should be. I should use the word sales, okay? Okay, here we could write sales, yes? And this sales was video. Yes, video games. And of course, same amount, yes? I finish up to D now, yes? Next I'll do. Are you getting, huh? Yes, E. So, next we'll do E. So what I'll do, I'll save this for you document, I'll send you as well, huh? This will spend 20 minutes more or less. We'll, the next lesson I'll complete we'll, because this task I need to do. Because, of course, you know, the bookkeeping we need to learn a lot. Okay, so sorry, I can't go and check. So let's will go through which now? Which one? E. Yeah. So we're doing E now. Okay, what is the E? Can you read? So D R debit. What is when is a cash sale? So cash is coming. One thousand eight hundred twenty-seven. Why cash is coming due to sale? Due to my sales and sales is a credit. Cash is a debit. And sales. What type of sales was? Ten. Play price. Basically, we have a different services we are offering, and we are offering these, and we're receiving money for this. 
Okay. Is it okay? Yes, yes. So next we looking which one next? Uh, F. F. So what is F? Can we read? Purchase of office supply not cut from things of the supply. Yes, so we purchase from Bing office supply on account. On account mean we not paying them money, we will pay them later on. Okay. okay, so we are buying credit. So what we are buying? What's coming in a business? DR is mean debit. Purchases. Purchases. Office. Office supply. So we are buying office supply. How much was? How much? Uh, Four hundred six. Well done. Then what will do? Credit. Credit is uh, not cash. How can I credit? because we we're not paying them money now we will pay them money in future yes yeah. so we do bing's office supply because to home this is a liability i can write for you for your information yes liability mean the things which we owe so according to debt click liabilities goes on credit side yes so how much is the liability we have to pay in future because we purchase but we don't have a money we're not paying now we'll pay later on next g what is the g Okay, withdraw sixteen hundred. Jack Usi, yes. So what what they are drawing? It's mean drawings, yes. Yeah. So drawing goes which side? Debit. Debit side. Well done. So we discuss drawing debit side sixteen hundred. So what they are drawing, they are drawing cash. Yes, so they are withdrawing cash from the business. Yes, withdraw. Okay, understand. They can draw goods as well, but they said withdraw, so it means the cash. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, next. H. H. So, what is about H? Payment. Yes. So, this time, you know, the, these people, we bought it, the goods, yes? No, we are paying money. So when we are paying money, then we are reducing our liabilities. Yes, normally. So we are, how much we are paying them? 300, 390, yes. So what we are paying, when we are paying them, we are paying the cash, yes. Cash is going out of the business, yes? When the cash is reducing, it means credit. Because cash is decreasing 390 pounds because we are making them payment, yes? You getting these concepts, yes? Yes. Okay, what about next, I? That's will I can write I transaction in front of here. I. What is about I? Payment of wages. What what is wages? Wages mean salaries. Yes. If somebody is work for a business, 
like employees we are paying them wages okay how much money we are paying our workers wages wages is the expense for a business yes our wages wages is the expense so according to our word debt click we said expense goes on the debit side when increased yes it's come under debit d stand for debit e stand for expense expenses goes on the debit wages is expense for a business is it make sense yes yes okay so i'm paying wages so when i'm paying wages what i'm paying i'm paying cash yes so cash is going down okay what about next day okay day transaction cleaning service payment for cleaning services what is meant by cleaning cleaning is expense for a business yes uh, yes cleaning services so how much we are paying 74 so 74 is the money going out yes why is going out due to the cleaning because we get the services of cleaning we hire the cleaner and we paid 74 pound for a cleaning services next transaction with transaction what is meant by k purchase so no k k payment to purchase is yes so we purchases is mean purchase is debit because purchase is, is expense for a business technically what we purchase we can write in a bracket stuff animal because our business to purchase and sell yes okay what will be credit because we are making payment yes so we do credit cash by how much okay well done next next transaction is educational toy l l yes so l is payment purchase yes so again same thing yes but different amounts purchases what is a educational toys how much was 3547 and what will be credit then cash how much 6547 x m m transaction purchase payment to purchase video yes so again purchase what we purchase video cans how much these were 4169 what will be credit cash cash how much 4169 and last but not least and purchase 
African Python. Well done. Purchase is free ten play twice. Sorry, my spell wrong. Twice one three eight two. And what will we credit? Cash. Cash. Okay. So, if we'll go back to our questions. So, we done these transactions. We record them, okay? Yeah. So, these transactions we record. What else we have to do in the task? So, today, for further is account balance at the beginning of the October. So at the start of the month, that was the cash balance, okay? So now we have recorded, prepare the book of original entries, sale journal, purchase journal, and cash journal. So we'll prepare the cash and purchase and sales we all recorded the transaction we'll prepare these t accounts is a ledger from it then we'll prepare journal ledgers and we prepare the bank balance it means how much money cash bank or the cash is same thing and then we'll prepare the trial balance from it like we prepared in the previous lessons and we'll look prepare the cash flow statement how much money in and out of the business and we prepare our income statement and we prepare our balance sheet so these all the statement i'll prepare with you during our lesson okay Next lesson. because we have to do one more lesson uh, okay yeah yeah okay but Problem two, you can do it. You know the problem two, I gave you in the ratios. Yes? Uh, yeah, I will send it, but... Uh, I like, gro like gross profit ratios, this gross profit divided by sales time by 100, you will get the ratios. Yes? Net profit ratio is that's our net in, net income divided by sales time by hundred. You will you can calculate. Then you have a current asset. These are the current asset divided by current liabilities. This divided by the this these are the current liabilities you will calculate the current ratios yes so all you have a formula sheet so you need to calculate all these ratios yes you just need to divide the figures yes So please go through these ratios, follow the formula. I already uploaded the formula sheet for you. And then we can discuss what these ratios provide. And that's your all assignment. So I need to go through the task two with you. Oh, sorry, yes, task two, part A. And you do part problem two, yes? And you can do task one, yes? yes? Then your assignment will be complete. Yeah. Yeah. You okay, yes? So yeah. to, today these transactions we done. I will solve my own and I'll just quick, you know, demonstrate next lesson, okay? Okay, thank you. Then that will help you quick, you know, we can prepare. Any question? No question? Yes, no question. Okay, so when you want next lesson? Uh, next week or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, I mean, 
Oh no. Sorry. Um, is it last lesson? No. no. Um. Yes. Today is supposed to. Today is supposed to be last lesson. I need to do one extra lesson with you because it's a numerical. You will struggle. Can choose the date. Um, uh, not Tuesday. I can't do. Maybe. I think it's just the schedule. And yes, I need to send you the schedule. I can create schedule. Ah, uh, we can do next week then Saturday. Okay. Yes. I have class. Uh, Sorry. I have class uh, next Saturday. I can do Friday. You can Friday. Uh, Friday is okay. So I can do Friday UK time around five o'clock. In Perth. UK. UK time five four o'clock four o'clock. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, how how much is what time now you have? Here is eleven eleven p.m. Oh, there is a eleven p.m. Here is a three p.m. So eight hours difference. Okay. So okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Uh, yeah, good. I, that that will be your eleven. Is it too late for you? Uh, it's okay. Because you have a Saturday holiday. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't want you to you carry on a waking and then you need to sleep and morning work. It's okay, huh? Okay, I will do then such a day. Okay, yeah. uh, sorry, Friday uh, yeah. around okay. three o'clock. Okay. okay, then I'll go through all these remaining bit and pieces. So then you will be fine. Huh? Okay, have a nice time. Good night. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Thanks, mate. Bye bye. I'll upload this recording as well so you can listen, okay, when you do your assignment and start your task. Huh? Okay. okay, well done. Thank you. Bye bye.